All right, so we're going to do one more video about values, and I feel like there's probably, if you made it this far in the series and you watched everything, then I'm sure quite a few people are saying, you know, it's great, we can find values, but every time I load a game or restart the game, you know, I have to go back in, refine the values, and that's that's real annoying. So we're rest assured that we're moving in that direction. This is probably one of the last videos uh, where I'll talk directly about how to find values. We'll... The reason that I'm harping on this so much and, and going over it again and again and again is because this is the basis that you use to find pointers. You can't, in, in a general sense, you can't find a pointer unless you've already found a value. Um, so finding the values is the first is generally the first step, and, and from there you can find pointers and code injection and and things like that. So moving in that direction um, of of uh, pointers and whatnot, we're gonna find another value in the game, but we're going to try and, uh, instead of saying, you know, I want to find um, the action points for our, you know, for our, and or for our player, uh, we're going to try and find um, selected unit action points. So if we can find a value that will have the action points of the character that we have selected during combat, it, it you know, it is a more general concept and more general value. The game will, uh, you know, load different um, structures and, and objects if uh, I suppose is a better way to put it to load different objects um, based on the player that's selected so again this is a more general idea is more somewhat useful and um, I haven't done this uh, before I recorded the video so we're just gonna we may make some mistakes here and um, we you know it may take us a little bit to do it but that's fine because you know we'll learn by doing it wrong so you know, I guess that's a quick philosophical point I would make, which is um, even if you're doing something and it's wrong, um, that's fine because again, you're still you're still learning and, and getting more comfortable with the process. So I'm not afraid of failure. That's what I would say. Uh, let's see what's quickest way. We'll just go through the campaign like we have been doing. Uh, yep. 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 Uh, gonna yeah it doesn't really matter because we shouldn't have to end the turn anyway I guess we get two of them uh, I don't know things it's early in the morning I, I have nothing witty at this point So again, you know, we're we are gonna find a single value, and if we load games and, and restart the game, we'll have to go back and refine the values. But we're moving in the general direction of, of what we want to do, um, of pointers and, and uh, persistence is probably a better word. And there's a reason why I'm taking this real slow as for in building up um, to pointers and things because they are complicated concepts the the concept of a pointer is, is pretty simple but um, it's the ramifications of uh, of pointers in general that's complicated it's not so much the concept yep all right combat what do I have a bat yeah I guess I have a bat that's, that's a pretty good looking bat anyway Go back to uh, close that. Go back to cheat engine. Link it to the process. All right. So we're gonna select our character. So we have two action points. We hit tab, or we can click on another one. Now the action points of the selected character is two, and then, you know now it's two again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and set up. We could, you know, this is not good for filtering right now. We're going to search for two, and then, you know, we click here. We're going to wind up filtering by two, filtering by two. So you want to, when you're doing something like this, you know, again, it's environment. You want to try and set up um, so that, you know, set it up so that these values will change. It's unfortunate that if you go down to zero action points, then you can't select the character. So if we went down to uh, zero, we would be unable to search or unable to filter because we wouldn't be able to select the character. So this is going to be a little tricky. So we're going to spend one point, and then what we're going to do is we're going to just sort of oscillate back and forth between our character and Sam. So we're going to, again, it's going to be tricky because we're going to have to search for two, filter to one, go to two, go to one, things like that. Um, 
if we wanted to, I suppose we, we could have changed something um, so that we had that third action point in there. Maybe that's, you know, if you're doing it on your own, that might be a better way to go. But let's see what we can do here. I'm going to start it too. That's a, that's a better initial. It's still a crap initial value, but whatever. It's not too bad. So we'll go to one. All right, go back to two. Getting down there. Two again. Back to one. Two. One. I don't know. This might be might be a sucker's bet here. Yeah, I don't know about this. This. Sort of proving, proving the point. We'll, we'll end the turn. Let the game chew up some memory. It's kind of proving the point what we're talking about. Initial values and, and patterns and having a wide range of, uh, of values to, to or, oh, yeah, wide range of values to manipulate is, is definitely the, the way to go. All right, so the game's chewed up some memory. Move some things around. Let's go back to two. That's much better. Go down to one. Oh, we're getting there. Go back to two. Two values. That's I don't know. That's that's not great. I mean, it's it's certainly better than what we had. Don't get me wrong. Ah, there we go. So that's you can see this value is sort of changing back and forth. We don't want that value. Is it still doing it? It is. All right. So let's just do a couple tests here. We're gonna that value is two. We're gonna click on our character. You can see it goes to one. See what happens if we set it to three. We don't want to instantly go in and set this to something like 900 because, you know, we we highly suspect that it's, you know, that this is the right value. But again, you know, if we're wrong and we set this to some crazy value, you know, it's odds are or, or there's a there's a chance that we could crash the game. So set it to three. Obviously, it's not going to be immediately reflected. We have to cycle through the menu, force it to update a little bit. We get back to one. Eh. So what do you think about that? Let's try this again goes down to zero. Yeah. Values back to two. Let's set it to one. Maybe there's a there's a cap or something. No. See now it goes back to two. It's certainly possible that we just don't have the right value here. Let's, uh, let's just do that one more time. So two. That should be one. It is not one. Let's go back to this value that we were suspicious of. Let's try changing that to three. Let's see what we get there. That's automatically changing it. All right, so we have failed in finding the value in our, in our initial step, which is fine. Like I said, we'll, we will learn from failure, so we're going to go back to new scan here, and we're going to try and think up a different approach. going to end the round so the game can cycle back through. Alright, we have two, we have two, we have two. So, you know, we are going to go back. This is, it's a little, little, little strange. Uh, Alright. Let's see if we can find this thing that gives us the extra action point. It's, it'll, it's only going to be one extra action point, but it should be enough to... Uh, let's see. Maximum trolls, da 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 I recall in my game there was a way to get that extra action point. I just, off the top of my head, I can't immediately recall how we did that. Uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to load a game, go way down here, bring this up. Uh, yep. Let's make sure our right, action points is three, so I have that ability on this character. Uh, spend karma. It's not going to be in pistol. It's not going to be in any of that. Was it dodge? Oh. 
Alright, whatever. So we're gonna we're gonna go super generic. Uh go back to the main menu. So that character was an elf. We will be an elf. Yep. Um What's the best way to do this? Do we want to do this now? No, nope, we're just going to launch straight into it. Can I spend card? Yeah, we can. Alright. Yep. Uh, I don't know. Uh, crash test dummy. Alright, so... We have two action points. Gonna chew or yeah, we're gonna find this value. We're gonna do the karma thing. Oh, we got 25, 20. Obviously, these two values are meaningless to us now. I don't know. We'll make it five. That's not it. Uh, actually, we do have it. I just I recall that we have to confirm it and then come back out, cycle through the menus. Uh, yep, yep, yep. I can't do that. It's probably in here somewhere. Let's confirm it, see if we get that third action point. We do not. Son of a bitch. Oh, was it? Uh, was it Cyberware that gave us that extra action point? That'd be that'd really suck. That'd make me feel stupid. All right, well, it's, uh, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to find the action point from here. Who cares? It's probably, uh, should have thought of that a couple minutes ago. All right, so we have three. I click here. So now the selected unit has two. Now we're back to three. This is happening considerably faster. Click on two. Go back to two. All right. So, let's see what happens if we start fiddling with uh, both of these values. Try and try and figure this out in a somewhat quick way. Goes down to two. So why is it doing that? Uh, probably because we're doing something like that, and then we're going back in and we're selecting it, so it's reloading the value. Oh, it's going back down to. Uh, why is it doing that? Let's try freezing them. All right. Well, we've failed, and uh, we will. Try and figure out why we failed in the next video.